Well, you know, in the way the way you sort of talk, I, I can relate to it. You know, I was talking to someone the other day about this. Um, when I hit my low rock bottom for me, I was 26. And externally, my circumstances had been much, much worse. I mean, I had woken up in jail, not know how I got there with blood on me. I had come to from a blackout getting in a wreck. I had woke up in the hospital, not at overdose. I had had these crazy external circumstances and they were rock bottoms, but they didn't provoke the change. When, but when that t- when I finally did get convicted, provoked, whatever language you want to use into change, my external circumstances, I mean, they were bad. I was hiding in the middle of nowhere, just drinking, just drinking, 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 but they weren't anywhere near what they had been in the past. But internally, I had never been so low internally i was like at the low of all lows completely bankrupt done shame the guilt that just everything every bridge burned and it's kind of you know obviously circumstance is different but that's kind of what you're you're describing there is just your internal i mean you talk about like you were mentioning earlier a little bit about like the drinking's not the issue it's a symptom of, of right. the issue I the agree. issue is the, the mind needs to be renewed you know um, guard your heart for from it flow all the issues of life most people have no idea what what do you mean guard my heart the people have been in church their whole life right you, you at, start talking to them about that and it's a foreign language guard my what do you mean how, how do you what do you mean what do you do that like what do you mean how do you do that that's you should be doing it every single day that's our walk is guarding it because every single decision that we make comes out of it so 